let me quickly type the message select the date and done i've scheduled a whatsapp message wondering how you can do that keep watching this video till the end Hello there, I'm Aman Rashid and welcome to Gadget360. I really love my friends but I just cannot remember their birthdays. Well, that's not going to happen anymore because now I can schedule WhatsApp messages. But before I tell you how to do that, if you like our content and you want to motivate us for what we do, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a brand new video. With that said, let's get started. To schedule WhatsApp messages on Android, Go to the Google Play Store and download this app, sked it and sign up. Now tap WhatsApp and grant the permissions the app needs. Tap enable accessibility, then sked it, then toggle on use service, then finally tap allow. Now return to the app. So this is where you set the plan in action. You have to add a recipient and enter your message. After that you need to set the schedule date and time. You can choose if you wish to repeat the scheduled message or not. After this is all set, at the bottom you'll see one last toggle, ask me before sending. Turn it on, then tap the tick icon at the top and you've just now scheduled a message on WhatsApp. Now I'll get a notification when it's my friend's birthday and all I have to do is tap the notification and then tap send. However, if you keep the ask me before sending toggled off and you tap the tick icon, in that case you'll be asked to disable your phone's screen lock. You'll also be asked to disable your phone's battery optimization as well. So if you do this, your scheduled messages will be sent automatically without any input. While this method works, I won't recommend disabling your screen lock for this app. Tapping the notification and sending messages is easy and it works. So just use that method. iPhone users, download the Shortcuts app on your device. Open the app and select the Automation tab at the bottom. Tap the plus icon in the top right corner and then tap create personal automation. On the next screen tap time of day to schedule when to run your automation. In this case select the dates and times when you want to schedule WhatsApp messages. Once that is done tap next. Now tap action and then in the search bar type text and from the list of actions that appear select text. After that enter your message in the text field. I am going to type happy birthday. After you're done entering your message, tap the plus icon below the text field and in the search bar look for WhatsApp. Now select send message via WhatsApp, choose the recipient and hit next. Finally on the next screen tap done. Now at the scheduled time you'll get a notification from the shortcuts app. Tap the notification and it will open WhatsApp with your message pasted in the text field. All you have to do is hit send. Using this method, you can only schedule messages for up to a week in advance. If that's too short a limit for you, then you can always try out this other method. This is one of the most complex Siri shortcuts you have ever come across, but it does schedule WhatsApp messages for any date and time if you configure it properly. It worked well on one of our iPhones but kept crashing on the other, so your mileage may vary with this one. However, we were able to schedule a message using both methods, so you can choose the one you like. That's all for this video. This is how you can schedule WhatsApp messages on Android and iOS. I hope you got to learn something new and if you did, then please give this video a like and definitely share this video with others. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.